Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Star Wars review. Well, Clone Wars wise, of course. And this one is on the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set, or otherwise, or as a lot of you would call, the 501st Battle Pack, of course. And, this, and now for a battle pack like this, could we see any more in the future? Well, it's a possibility, but let's see how this does. But on the front of the box here, you see Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and that interesting border, but Clone War style version of it. And then all the mini things included, and picture of Zep in, in a menacing battle, of course. And age recommendation is 7 and up, set number 752280, has 285 pieces. Need artwork on the side. And on to the back, you see. It, it, in, another, in other positions, all the both of the features of it, and also play it in the Skywalker Saga game, of course. And on to the instruction booklet. Oh, with the same picture as on the front of the box, everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Then add for all of the 2020 set. Of course, and then minifig list for various sets, and then add for the Skywalker Saga game, of course, and then the last building steps. So now, on to all the minifigs included in this set. Is first of all, get a wish. You get not just just one or two, but three 501st Troopers, which of course never came in any sets. Well, ever since 2013, and and of course this set of which did was kind of campaigned and then finally became a set, honestly. But besides that, the torso print leg -like prints all look really good. Almost like other Phase 2 clone troopers. You can see two of which do have the uh, regular blasters, of course, but another one. But one of which does have his own bl longer blaster with a candle piece on it. Kind of interesting. And all of which do have the same exact uh, printing. You know, but at least an all new type of clone trooper face. Yes, but not the annoying angry clone face, which we have seen for a few years, of course. And also, do you get the uh, 501st Jet Trooper, which the torso print and everything, uh, kind of the same as the other ones, but except has blue arms, which the rest of which should have. But of course, the rest shouldn't have dual molded arms, like with some blue at the top. Make them more accurate, of course. But besides that, the helmet piece, also the same, but just with some red markings, of course. And some more blue to it, obviously. And, there were other, and then there's two regular battle droids. Same as they've always been, but straight armed version since 2007. And from the back of each of them, you see same exact uh, jetpack piece as Jenga Fentanyl did, but the back torso print also a huge typical of most uh, clone troopers. And first of the builds is this new bark speeder. And they did, of course, do plenty of did plenty of bark speeders over time, like for episode three and whatnot. Well, haven't seen one since 2014. Balance Sukumai, of course. And although the length of it is kind of long for a bark speeder, but also towards the front part of it, do you get this interesting front? piece where it looks like it's two of the corner uh, point in kind of pieces but but no it's actually one solid piece kind of interesting and also 
do you get a pair of stunt shooters, of course, which important of any uh, speeder in Star Wars, of course. And a pair of uh, snowshoe skis, or snowshoes, or uh, skis, or whatever, but just to add as extra detail to it. And of course, a Nexo Knight's shield piece for also that. And long curved slope with a little sticker on the front. And also, interesting uh, ridge brick there to, of course, add in some extra, like, like a grill or something. And also, you get plenty of good seating for any of your troopers, of course. And also, another uh, curved slope, but with three uh, stickers on it. Kind of interesting, so very few stickers in this set. You do get a couple other rifles, but with or rifles with uh, lightsaber hilts on them, but they're just there for show, of course. And good use of those pieces. So they're acting as engine grills and all. And also, the rest of the shaping done pretty well. And so now, on to the other build of it, being the ATRT walker, slash chicken walker, whatever you call it, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> but, well, the last time we did get this particular one was within 2013. Or was 2013, of course. I just haven't seen it since. But although recently in 2019 did get a Kashyyyk one or a version of it, and the build of it is very similar to this. like this front part which which does have a couple of good fin pieces there and also the uh, 501st logo to it and also a couple of clips on the back part of it for goggles or viewfinders and all but also enough room to and also just like the bark speeder which couple of studs showing to fit one of your troopers onto it. And also, also like that are a pair of uh, robotic arms from the classic space range, of course. But good use as greebling, of course, and get some of those jumper pieces there, and also a stud shooter at the front, but on a ball joint. And lower down, and for the legs of which, like other versions, does have the like dish pieces around, and also a little sticker to it as another detail, of course. And also good use of snot on the feet, especially with those tooth pieces acting as. Uh, tiptoes for the feet, of course, and as for balancing, it's quite well balanceable, and also can get it in plenty of good positions, like this one, of course. And so, for a little comparison, is with the 20th anniversary Clone Scout Walker set, it is. That as you can see, some of it's kind of the same, but but also this did also come with some side builds, but weren't as much large as the bark speeder included with this one. Although it has more pieces to it, so although this set feels kind of like it's a rehash of this one, and sold a little differently, and although the Feet of which built kind of the same, but just with slight modifications to it, and but except the stud shooter, which has a longer thing on it, and it's on a swivel joint rather than a ball joint, and also 
both of which do have some antennas to them, of course. But besides that, see, it feels like a little downgrade, but also, like every other uh, uh, ATRT walker, is just a little too oversized for a minifig, but the only time they ever got a proper fit for it was 2016 uh, Battle Pack. Or 2016 Rogue One Battle Pack, and also 2016 uh, Clone Turbo Tank set is did include that. But at least they uh, always do try, of course. So now on to it, the final verdict. So overall, this I think a pretty good set. And of course, does this work out as an actual battle pack? Yes. Also, I, I wouldn't mind there being other battle packs like this with, especially with large build, unless it was two large build or two builds or one large build, either one. And I can expect plenty of different kinds of troopers in these, of course. Although I think that, although it does feel kind of like two battle packs in one, both troopers and battle droids there, but at least it's good to have of more of each, of course. But, but besides that, if you're into mocking, this of which does provide plenty of good uh, pieces in blue and also the light like, gray, of course, of course, and also other good pieces, obviously. And if you're looking to get this set for your clone trooper army, then definitely pick this up. And if you're wanting to, and if they still sell it where you live, and you want to build an army of 501st troopers, then definitely pick up as many as you can. And yeah, and that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. And thanks for watching.